guys, it's Danger, and today I have Terraria. Now, I have changed my appearance, and I have tried to look like Pit from Kid Icarus, that series. The only problem I have is that this frickin' game doesn't have dyes or clothes for Pit. The closest I've been able to find has been Lazier Volkabee's circlet, Detail's breastplate, and the Martian unicorn pants, even though I dyed them brown and black, they still appear the same color. The only reason I did the Martian pants is if you look closely, they have the same pattern that Pitt's uh, sandals, shoes, whatever you call them, boots, I don't know, have on them. And so I put accessories on that would make it look like that. As you can see, I've got his little uh, arm bracers. Except they're not gold tipped because there's no gold and brown dye. I'm a little irritated about that. But, <coughs> besides that, I have done my best to recreate Pit. So, here on the SS Danger, we have been looking for Duke Fishron, and I ju just recently got the Tempest stuff and the Tsunami. And, uh, I did get another Razor Blade Typhoon. Which I have no use for, so I will probably be giving it away to my friends. There's the little captain's quarters. Oh, pretty cool. And then there's the trophy that I just got. Ryan, you're wondering how I got this dino pet. It's a 1 in 5,000 drop chance from the Extractinator. And actually, I got two of them, so I will be having a server soon. And if you are the first one to join, you will get the extra amber mosquito I have. Or the extra sapling pet I have, because I do have tons of pets. I will look through my pets, and I will decide which one you can have. Oh yeah, the jungle key I got recently, I get tons of them. And nothing to do with them. So you guys might want that as well. One sec. I like pirate maps. Because I really like old furniture. <coughs> Alright. So. Now let's turn home for a bit. I did a little of housework trying to remodel the houses. Now I'm in my sister's house. Because I was using that top chest to hide some secret loot to sort of surprise her so I'd be going into my expert mode world to kill him this is my room pretty cool I just set my spawn point here it has a full security measure and then here is where I store my extra gold furniture and stuff like that and down here is where I store my fun things that I think are just fun like the frost brand the Dow pow I got that recently actually because I didn't have any crimson forest all I had was the hallowed forest Blah, blah, blah. I meant deserts. So, <laughs> I built this recently to get up to my storage room. And everything is pretty much organized, I think. People said those statues teleport NPCs. Not sure about that, but okay. And, uh, I just. I was holding the classy cane. Uh, sorry for the lag. Let's just put that there. I have an extra skiff suit, if anyone wants that. That's the polar bear developer. That looks like the Kool-Aid bear. Or wait, no, like... 
I see you there. That's what I meant. Oh wow, butterfly went into my room. Well, it's probably not gonna find its way out anytime soon. So, I'm prepared to attack Duke Fishron. So, hold on. Let me just get some good traits that I want. I'm gonna get ruthless on this. I put ruthless on all of these just because who needs knockback? You really just need damage. And you don't need like manic on them because I don't know exactly like mythical. You don't need the extra mana. If you're going to be having a summon item, you won't be needing mana, you just want damage. So, really quickly, let's see if I can get Ruthless. I don't know if I skipped it or not. Get unreal on this. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna have to get unreal again. Sorry, guys. There we go. Pretty fast. Faster than it was before because I had slow on it. I could very well compete with the Phantasm. Because if I put the Luminite arrows on this, then this thing's gonna just be shooting really high speed arrows. Rapid fire. Like 10 arrows at a time. That's pretty good, in my opinion. So now, like I was saying, let's head over to my other server. Alright. So. No, I'm not playing. I'm not gonna... <laughs> you guys don't see it, but... It says to tell me to press Alt F four and then I already know what that is. So let's go into my expert mode world. <laughs> Sorry guys for my voice. I really don't know what's up. Or even if it's weird. It's about to be the end of the episode, so I will start a new part soon. Oh yeah. This is where I open some of the Moonlord goodie bags. I used to have 64. And there's the there's the extra skiff suit. If anyone wants it. And I have a lot of other stuff. On my face. Alright. So let's go on and head over to the ocean. I did the best I could to resemble Pit. Don't know if I did the best job. Now, in expert mode, Duke Fish Run is harder, as expert mode probably suggests. So, what you want to do? I want to get Animal Box on that ready. Get my two little Stardust guys out. And then this 
This guy is actually really good. You guys should get him. He's basically a turret. He's the only mount I know of that can attack things, and he's a parkour beast. But for now, we're going to be using this guy. Because he has an upper advantage against fish run all underwater. So, let's eat a pumpkin pie. And let's get started. I'm 